As I previously announced, with consultation with Ms. McHugh, we will start the next hearing from the bottom row and work backward. And uh, have, but for the votes that we had on the floor, we would have been able to get through everyone quite easily. But Ms. Shea Porter, that's it. Thank you, and I'll speak Yankee fast. The first thing I wanted to just comment on, I'm not expecting an answer on this, but I just wanted to put it out there that we've had a lot of concerns about contractors in Iraq for a long time, and certainly we saw KBR receive a contract recently in spite of the electrocutions of our soldiers, and I hope that you are addressing those issues. I am trying to myself as are others, but I have a deep concern. When we send our troops to a battlefield, they should not die in a swimming pool or in a shower. So I, I wanted to put that out there. A task force safe, uh, Congresswoman, I'll try to speak Yankees as a fellow in New Hampshire. Uh, Task Force SAFE was created in Iraq in response to that. It has gone through tens of thousands. Unfortunately, there are still tens of thousands of structures, but it is working very hard, and we have shared those lessons with Afghanistan and other places in Central Command where we have similar types of infrastructure that have been built up by contractors. And I am grateful for the work they're doing, but I'm still concerned that KBR received another contract to do electrical work. And if you don't mind switching gears, I'd like to talk about the Sons of Iraq. It seemed like it was doing pretty well, and then recently I read that that the Sunnis had not been integrated into the police force as we originally hoped, and that there was a, some trouble again. Could you please address that, General Petraeus? Well, Sunnis have been integrated into the police force. Again, the local police are generally reflective of local populations. Uh, the national police are a generally national force that reflects the, the general national structure, as is the case with the uh, overall Iraqi army and other uh, security forces. Um, the issue really is the Sons of Iraq not getting long-term jobs, uh, and there has been over, the, over literally over the years now a commitment uh, that the Iraqi government would do everything humanly possible to find them uh, either jobs in the security forces, and over the, again over the years have been probably 20 or more thousand of them that have been able to do that. Uh, but there's still somewhere around a 90 to 100,000 that don't have longer term employment uh, options beyond the Sons of Iraq. Now, it's important to recognize the government of Iraq has been paying, paying, they have literally month by month been taking over more and more each province over time. I think they're somewhere around the 90% range now and taking over the salaries of them as Sons of Iraq, and they'll take over the remaining provinces in the month of April. Well, thank uh, you. I, I'm going to interrupt because we are on the sure. clock and say that I, I thought that was a, a very good program and I hope that you know we yeah. continue to pay attention. And the last question I wanted to ask you was, I can remember several months ago reading an article about Iraqi widows who had to iron sheets for pennies a day and it made me think about what we're doing with the money when we bring it into Iraq and are we targeting women and children enough? Are we putting enough money in their hands so they can do a micro business or change their future? Because if you want stability, you need stability in the family and the community. There, there are programs for women that specifically do target women, both programs that we have and also uh, the Ministry of Labor and Social Affairs uh, on, in the governor of Iraq. The tragedy is that there are N vast numbers of the, these women that date all the way back to the terrible losses sustained by uh, Iraqi men, primarily soldiers, in the Iran-Iraq war. And so this is a continued problem, and then there have been more in, in, in recent years, obviously, during the sectarian violence. Uh, so I don't have any doubt that there needs to be more done in that area or, frankly, in a number of other areas as the new Iraq redevelops its uh, social and economic institutions. I would be grateful if you could send information to me. And again, thank you all for your service. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, the witching hour has arrived, and uh, we will uh, in the hearing. But let me 